same. So I don't know. I don't know. And we haven't had sun, so I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. uh, Natasha joins us right now. What are the current conditions out there? Uh, what we're seeing is a little bit of sunshine coming through the clouds, so we're pretty excited about that. River levels not receding just yet. In fact, there has been an extension on the flood warning for the Columbia River, which I will show you here in just a moment. Uh, this is a live look right now from our Riverview camera in Vancouver, looking across the way to Portland and the Jansen Beach area. And you can see, certainly, the water levels are high in the minor flood stage currently. 65 degrees in Portland. Wind is out of the northwest at 7, and temperatures tonight will be in the upper 50s and then mid 50s right around midnight. So here's the latest on our river stage for the Columbia River going through Vancouver. Currently at 16.32 feet, but here's what's different. It's not expected to necessarily go higher, but stay at that flood stage level a little bit longer, at least until about Thursday morning, Thursday midday, and then expected to recede here gradually as soon as we get to Friday and this weekend. But, of course, the caveat with that is that we are expecting more rain at the end of the week, but not the atmospheric river type of rain that we saw from last weekend. So again, no longer going until Wednesday night. Cross that one out. This has just been updated now going into Thursday for that flood warning for the Columbia River. Let's talk about summertime for a second. Kind of pretend like we're basking in the sun and really enjoying things. Uh, average first day for the following temperatures are as follows. We've already had 70 degree days. We've already had our, our first 81 degree day. That was a few weeks ago. But on average, we see it by May 8th, of course. We uh, came up with that temperature a little bit later in the month. OK, what about our first 90 degree day? Well, that on average happens by at least June 4th. Of course, we're past that time period. What about our first 100 degree day? On average, that happens by July 20th. Certainly, as you probably could tell, this June, nothing like last June. Things are not going to be nearly as hot, not even close. We're going to add some more rain to the mix. How much more rain potentially could we see? Well, our next chance to see rain would be Friday into Saturday, possibly early Sunday morning. So if you add it all up, here's one potential outcome. Again, this is just one outcome. Don't uh, hang your hat on this one. These numbers will definitely change between now and this coming Sunday. But if you add up Friday and Saturday, we could be seeing something close to about an inch or slightly less than an inch for Portland and higher up as you go north across southwest Washington and out towards the coastline, possibly more than an inch possible. Notice the numbers get lower as you go south. Salem down to Eugene, about a quarter of an inch to three tenths of an inch. Not expecting a whole lot for you out towards the Dalles or Pendleton. Uh, but again, those numbers which will change. But the important part is you know that we'll see more measurable rain as soon as we get to the end of the week. How about tomorrow? Tomorrow is going to be another dry day for us. Mostly cloudy, yes. At the coast, about 61. Um, in the valley, we could see temperatures range anywhere from 71 to as much as about 73 or 74. In the gorge, we are expecting some sun breaks by tomorrow afternoon, 73. Central Oregon and Eastern Oregon, you're going to be in the upper 70s with a better chance for some sunshine for you out towards Pendleton. That, by the way, keep that in mind. If you're trying to get a nice view of the full moon, our strawberry supermoon, um, best thing to do is really just get east of the Cascades for the best view of that moon later on tonight through tomorrow morning. Here's a look at that seven day forecast. Yes, Father's Day is on Sunday. Right now we're calling for mostly cloudy skies. A chance you could get a few sprinkles early in the morning. But look at that, a high temperature of only 63. So we'll have a couple of low 70s here tomorrow and Thursday. Back to showers, low 60s. That puts us more than 10 degrees below normal. We get through the weekend, more showers for us Saturday. Sunday, we're drying out. And then next Monday and Tuesday, we're looking pretty good. A little bit of sunshine there and temperatures in the low 70s. Mm -hmm. So I guess out of all of this, the good news is we're not seeing any heat waves here in the next seven days. I, I guess a little, little heat would be, you know, something, yeah. right? Just a smidge. Just go a couple states out to the east and you'll find it. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay, mm -hmm. thanks. Oh, burger